Okay, so I want to show something very important today. We had a patient come in for surgery, and we actually saw the patient about a week ago and was wearing what a owner thought was a Soresto collar that they purchased online. He couldn't remember exactly where. He got it a couple months ago, um, and the dog was covered with fleas, and that's really unusual for us to see. So I took a look at the collar, and I'll be honest, when I first looked at it, I didn't really think there was any problem with it, and this is the collar. I just took it off the dog. So it actually looks pretty good, um, but actually when it felt different to us. And so for us as in the veterinary world, we deal with these collars all the time. So we kind of know what the texture of the collar is. To compare, I did take one of the collars off of one of our employee pets. Um, and you can see subtly the difference in color a little bit and the texture of how this collar feels. You can see this is really malleable and moving around and this one's really hard. Now, to be fair, these dogs, and cats, when they wear these collars long term, they will become a bit hard and brittle. So that's normal. But here's two ways that you can subtly tell that this collar is real and that this collar is fake. You can look here, and if you look very closely, you can see that there is a little symbol right there that says bear on it. And so we can see that. And then if you look a little farther down the collar, there is a, a serial number there. And so all of these have serial numbers on them um, in case there's ever a problem. Um, here, there you go. There you go, yeah. serial number on there. And that should always match the serial number that's on the back of the tin that you bought. So one way, um, if you're going to double check is that the serial number here should match the tin. These tins should look like this. And we put a label on this because this patient's going home. But we've I've had a lot of people that have bought collars in tins that we're, were actually bare tins or Soresto tins, but had knockoff collars inside them. So again, this is the knockoff collar. When you look at it, there is no symbol here from Soresto or bare, there's nothing. And when you look farther down, there is no serial number anywhere. So again, the big hint that this collar wasn't real is that it's just not working. Um, the other thing that we'll often see is if it's cheap, it's not real. Um, a lot of these companies are taking advantage of you with knockoff products. So if you're buying a Soresto collar for 15, 20, 30 bucks, it's fake. Hands down, it's fake because the cost from the supplier is more than that. So if you're finding it online for that kind of money, it is not a real collar. So um, please just beware. Again, there's a lot of companies that want to take your money. The best place to purchase this stuff is from your veterinarian. We're not getting rich selling you flea and tech collars. We're not working for big pharma, but we want to help your pet. We want to get you the products that you need. Um, and we can do that safely because we source them directly from the manufacturer. So again, just some things to think about here when you're buying products online.